there was a comment left in episode three by Itar Ital who asks, are all those shots of you on the drums all from your church? Do you ever miss playing an actual band, like a legit rock band, I mean? Uh, legit is a relative term. There's a co- I'm going to answer this a couple of ways. The first one is, yes, I do miss playing in a rock band, um, and, and someday I do hope to get back in one. Um, but it's two totally different experiences. I like getting up early every Sunday morning. I like going to have get coffee with my pastor. Uh, I love getting there early and, and setting up the drums before anybody's there. Uh, the second thing is our church, for such a small church, I think there are like 400 members, 500 members. There's an incredible amount of talent in that church. Uh, and you don't find that every day. Even mega churches struggle sometimes. Um, but for some reason, we've been fortunate enough to have great musicianship there. And uh, seasoned, seasoned players who've been playing for some of them over 30 years. Um, but the thing I like about playing in a worship band is that I believe it's more challenging in a live setting on a stage. There's a lot of factors. The first one is that while yes, you have all the songs and and you learn them, you may have, I think we have four or five songs we play on a Sunday service twice. So two services. So when I show up, I show up at about seven o'clock. We practice at eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, So that's one set. Second set is for first service. And the third set is for second service. So three sets you play uh, every Sunday. But the thing that is challenging is you have a worship leader who even though we've practiced and have a set amount of songs, because of the spiritual nature of worship, uh, they can feel a kind of, like they feel like they want to change the order maybe, or play a song uh, for an extended amount of time, or have everybody drop down so that they can you know, speak something or share something that's on their heart. And this all has to be done on the fly. So you have to, as a drummer, I have to keep my eye glued to the worship leader when, in case she or he gives hand signals to drop it down after the next, after the measure is complete. Um, you don't find that in a rock setting on a stage. You have a rehearsed songs, you play the songs, and you go backstage and get drunk or whatever afterwards. It never changes. Um, I mean, there are obviously some spontaneity, but the set is established and it's played over and over and over again. So it's not a matter of better, you know, what's what makes a better musician or, or what kind of a musician has to play it. It's it's a matter of challenge. You you never know what to expect in a worship service. Um, you you most often do know what to expect at a concert. So I enjoy playing in a worship service because you have to constantly be attentive. Um, it's also different with musicians. All musicians have an ego button that's easily pushed. That's just the nature of being that kind of personality. Um, but in the church, there's just something different relationally. Uh, people seem to be closer. Uh, we relate more together outside of, of music um, than I did with bandmates, you know, when I was growing up with. And I was pretty close to bandmates. The other question comes in with what kind of a rock band? Because I played in rock bands and I played in Christian rock bands. I played in Christian rock bands where there were far more attitudes than non-Christian rock bands. So it really depends on the setting. Um, But to answer your question, yes, I do miss playing in a rock band. I love playing in a live performance. Um, I love playing in the studio. But there's something about a Sunday worship service and watching people whose lives are legitimately being touched by the music. Not to say that there aren't some rock songs where people are, are moved. I felt, I mean, there's some Pink Floyd songs that, that bring me to tears still. Um, but watching people as you're playing react and contribute to the worship uh, that makes it more, it's just more deeply felt for me, I think. But it was a good question. I loved it. And I think, you know, I think maybe a, a full episode is, is warranted for this um, down the road. So maybe in a few months I'll, I'll touch on this more. But uh, Tal, thank you for the question. Appreciate it.